Hi! Welcome to another edition of Pastor Charlie's Toolbox. So today, we're here in the chapel at Hannah Lake Bible Camp. A place we like to go a lot and to be. And you know, one of the things I find as a pastor is a lot of people want to know about sin. Sin, of all things. Sin. Um, what is sin? How do we explain sin? How do we do that? Most of the time, we think of sin as something that hurts other people, and it might even be something that hurts ourselves. That's all possible. And the Ten Commandments lay out an awful lot of that. They do. You know, the things like keep God first, do not steal, do not murder, do not, do not commit adultery, uh, do not disrespect others, be happy with the things you have already in life, those kinds of things. That's what we think of and that's often how we try to explain, well, that's what sin is. But I also like to think of sin as being a boundary that should not be crossed. A boundary, like, like this caution tape. It says caution for a reason. Yeah, it's upside down, but it says it for a reason. It's a boundary. And on this side, you're good. On the other side, you've wandered into sin. And you can wander deeper and deeper into it. Deeper and deeper. Once you cross, you could be in trouble. So, and this is only for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you what can happen when you cross the line. So today, I'm crossing the line. So, we can go against sin. And, you know, I mean, we can just wind up like this, and, 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 and things are just... <laughs> This is an example of what happens when we get into sin. And we want to unwind ourselves, and it just gets worse and worse. I've got a problem. I'm, I'm into a real mess here. What do I do now? What do I do now when I can't seem to free myself? And every time I try to, it just seems to get worse and worse and worse. That's what sin does for us. It ties us up. We get tied up in guilt and lies, maybe more lies to cover the first lies, maybe in trying not to get caught. We get more and more tied up. And St. Paul talks about that in our lesson today from Romans. He talks about how, you know, we know what's good for us. We, we actually do know. But for some reason, that doesn't mean we always do what's good for us. We, we wander, we cross the line, and we will do the wrong things, and when we do, we are held captive to it, just like I'm captive here. And there's nobody here today, so, you know, I can't even call for help to a person. I can call for help, however, to God. And Paul, in our lesson goes on to say that Jesus, Jesus frees us from our guilt. So, it would be kind of like if I were given, oh, ah, maybe a pair of scissors to get myself out of this. It would be kind of like that. If I were to be cut away from the guilt now, that doesn't stick with you sometimes. But if that happens, what we need to remind ourselves is that we don't do that on our own. We aren't cut away from our guilt all on our own. It's Jesus who gives us the ways and means to do it. This happens because Jesus died on the cross for us. Jesus paid 
for the scissors so we could get out of our mess. You know, when we understand and truly, truly appreciate just what Jesus did, when, when, when we wind up concentrating more on what Jesus was about as opposed to just what we're about in our lives, well, that's one way we stay away from the caution tape of sin that tries to wind us up and strangle us. And we remind ourselves that it cost a lot for us to be free. And God didn't do it so that we now owe God a favor. No. God did it simply because God loves us. And uh, God loves us incredibly. And when we understand and follow that, well, then we more easily stay away from the mess that we call sin.